What is up, guys? My name is Damien. I'm Kyle. And I'm Alex. And we are our Mind Center. We make short films, and this is the part of our channel where we review movies. Tonight we went to go see a movie, and it was called Happy Death Day. Well, I'm sure you've seen the trailers. It's going to be in the run-of-the-mill list of Halloween movies that are coming out to make some money. But Alex, what is this movie about? You ever seen Groundhog Day? I've seen it. It's basically that premise. A girl wakes up every day, and when she eventually gets killed, the day rewinds, and she starts from the beginning. Like Alex said, uh, Groundhog Day. Like, there's no point in giving you a list, because you know. In, it's, it's weird. It's such like a premise that even if you haven't seen those movies, you know it exists. Mm -hmm. Somebody's reliving the same day over and over and over again, and they have to find a way to fix it. And I will say... For me, as a moviegoer, just like those other movies, I will not say that it's on the same level or as great as those, because this by no means is a great movie. But it was that I had as much fun with this one as those ones. I think what I would say going into this, before I keep going on my rant, what I will say is that you should not, from the moment this movie starts, do not take this movie too seriously, because it will upset you. If you do not, you're going to have fun like I did. Um... I did, I did have fun with the movie. Um, I stayed pretty entertained <clears throat> until the very end. The very end kind of dragged along, but uh, for the most part, I was entertained. But Damien says it's not a great movie, but I wouldn't say it's a good movie either. Mm. I wasn't a big fan of it. Yeah, I think he made a good point though. It, it wasn't. A terrible movie like the the directing was good enough to where you can't just sit there and complain about every shot because they were they were fine shots they were good shots and the acting was okay a lot of annoying dialogue but that's what this movie is trying to do so don't take it seriously I thought the ending was kind of better than the whole beginning part of it and even the middle but I couldn't get over just sitting there and watching her relive this day again from the moment that this, this movie opens, they do a gag right at the beginning where I think should, depending on who you are, should change how you're about to see the movie that you're about to watch. Whether you're like, oh, that's just a gag that they're throwing out there because it works with the premise, or it's a gag because they were like, hey, let's let people know right away. Don't think, this is not a scary movie. I know some people will be scared when they go see it, and I'm sure... High school kids are going to love this movie when they go see it. Because they're like, oh my god, I'm going to take my girlfriend. They're going to get scared and they're going to hold on to me or whatever. But this is not... I would honestly... I mean, it would be hard to kind of say to tell people. But I would feel comfortable in my own skin saying that this is kind of like a dark comedy. Mm -hmm. Slash parody. And that's kind of where this movie doesn't work for me. But we'll get into that more later. But this movie opens with her waking up in this dorm room. And I noticed right away that the dorm room that she ends, is in has these posters on the wall of famous movies that already exist. Yeah. One of them is from a movie that I love called They Live, which, I'll tell you the premise of that movie, it's about a guy who needs to put on glasses to see aliens. Then the other poster he has in his uh, room is from a movie or TV show called Mystery Science Theater, which l that show exists because of B-movies. And right then, I knew, I was like, they know what they're doing. They know the dialogue that you hear that is bad. They, they know. And I'll get into that more later. But yeah. you're see, ready for a lot of OMG, Becca. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, for me, <clears throat> I just, I didn't think that the movie was consistent. Um, I didn't enjoy the beginning. It was super lame and super forced to me. Um, and that was a pretty big chunk of the beginning for me. Until one one of the days that she woke up was phenomenal. I loved every second of that entire day. Emotionally, it was uh, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. It was the happy parts made me super happy. Um, there was a little sad part in there, and I got pretty pretty choked up mm -hmm. uh, actually. And um, I loved how it ended. What Damien said about it, just being kind of fun. Don't take it seriously. There's so many parts in it where if you're not taking it seriously, it can be a really fun movie, and then you're just kind of like, okay. But if you can get over those parts, you'll have fun with this movie. If, 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 if you want to go watch a beeline horror film, do it. Yeah, That's on you. I'm, it's, I mean, it seems like so far, like I'm just like, oh my god, I love this movie. Because like I said, it's not a great movie. 
But what is good is the point that Kyle made is being inconsistent. Because yes, I do think this movie is fun, and I do think that you shouldn't take it seriously, but the hard part about that is whenever a movie is like that and it's written that way, but then at the same time they do have scenes where they want you to take it seriously. Because then it messes with you a little bit. You think in your head, okay, are they doing this on purpose? Should I care? Or is this another gag? And for me, that's when it kind of fell apart. Because at yeah. times I didn't know if it was being a parody. I didn't know if it was making fun of the <clears throat> fact that it's a movie that already exists in a thousand other plots and in right. some basement of like a movie that hasn't been made yet. And it is it is a little wishy-washy for me. But like like I said, once once I shut off everything else... And I enjoyed the cheesy lines and the over-the-top stuff. It didn't take me out of it. It kind of put me more into the... Like, I was almost excited to hear another bad line of dialogue. Because then I would have been like, Oh, that's so bad! I love it! But yeah. Awesome. Uh, you guys want to rate it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm down. Let's do it. Yeah, take camps. Um... <coughs> What do we do? <laughs> oh, just let it go. I did that for the meme. Oh. Okay, guys. Um, so, what do I think about this movie? In a nutshell, all together, with my score involved. I think a perfect pathway that I take with this movie is that sometimes the directing is okay, and sometimes the acting is okay, uneven. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's bad. Same with the directing, and same with the writing. Sometimes there's writing that's really clever and really smart, and then there's sometimes the writing is like, even if that is a parody, it doesn't make it good. But what I think happens is with all that unevenness, sometimes, sometimes all of them match in a perfect line, and it works for me really, really freaking well. And because I did have fun in this movie, I'm going to give it a 7. I'm going to give it 7 creepy Halloween masks out of 10. This is a very uneven movie, but when those lines do hit, when they match up, when the stars align, it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie. Go see it, guys. I like Alex was saying, the, the direction is it's pretty pretty, pretty normal. It's not mm -hmm. bad. It's not incredible. Um, the acting was iffy. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a hit or miss for me. Um, I, feel like, I feel like there's a way to do dialogue in a, cring, like a comedic cringy way. But some of the dialogue in this movie was just cringy. It, it wasn't cringy to where it was <coughs> funny. Cause a lot of movies do that and I enjoy it but it was just cringy sometimes and um, some of the dialogue was just forced but um, 5.75 mm. nice 50 cent faces out of 10 <laughs> I'm still beat up by that I <laughs> I'm so beat up damn you 50 cent so I'm not a huge fan of horror films and this one to me felt fairly run of the mill We've seen a couple in the past that I have really enjoyed, especially It. Mm. But this one for me was just jump scares. It was intense music leading up to another jump scare. And the beginning was cringy dialogue and trying to set up. The ending was alright. And if you don't go into this movie thinking much of anything about it, and you're just like, hmm, I mean, it'll probably be cringy, but let's just have a good time with it. I'd say go see it. But... If you do really like horror films and you expect this one to be good, I wouldn't go see it. Um, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10 uh, baby bottles. But there you have it, guys. Um, if you are excited for this movie, leave a comment. And if you have any... Because, you know, every week more movies come out. Like, it's, it's not just one. We do have to choose which one because we're not millionaires we don't we don't get to see or even thousandaires or even hundredaires like we don't get to just go see whatever movie we want and we have a deadline to put these out for you guys so if there is a weekend no matter what movies are coming out if you guys want us to see a specific movie or review a specific one just let us know in the comments mm -hmm. and maybe who, who knows but maybe even if it's a movie that's already been out and you just want to know what our personalities think about that movie just let us know and yeah. we may or may not we might get bored one day we're like ah. Let's, Let's just do another one. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, guys, just keep in contact with us. Stay active in our our liking numbers and in our comments. And so you do not forget, my name is Damien. I'm Kyle. And I'm Alex. We are Our Mind Center. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time.
Septic <laughs> for sore throats. We're not sponsored by them, but we want to be. Yeah. <laughs>